All right, so 1 and 1 half times 2, we're going to take a look at using a graph uh, type method here to figure this out. This will come in handy later on when you're using a ruler or anything else to measure uh, fractions. So we're looking at 1 and a half times 2. So coming over here and we look at our first factor, let's call this our first factor. We could have called 2 our first factor, but let's just use 1 and a half as our first factor. And let's just draw a line at 1 and a half. So I've got, I've got 0. I've got one half, one, one and one half, and two. Okay, so I'm looking at one and one half. So I'm going to draw a line right here. And I'm just going to go straight up. Okay, so there's my one and a half. So I put one and one half. That's my one and one half line. So then I'm going to look at the second factor. And the second factor says we have times two. So I'm going to look over here. I'm going to go 0, 1, 2. And so I'm going to draw a line right across there. I'm going to draw a little bit higher so you can see it. Okay, so there's my 2. So now I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, okay, what is contained in that area that I just did? Um, we're going to look at filling in this area here. So we're going to go, I'm just going to kind of fill in this whole square here. So this entire area from 2 to 1 and a half is what we're looking for. That's going to be our answer. Now, if I want to estimate right now, I can look at this and I can kind of figure it out um, if I have a little bit of knowledge about half and everything. Um, if I look at this, I've got, here's one, let me use a different color here. So I have one right here. There's, can you see that box there? There's one whole piece right here. I have another whole piece right here. But then look at that. This one was cut right in half because I know it was a half because it's go one, half, and two. So I only have half a part right here. I've got one half here, and I've got another half right here. If I were to take this piece right here, and I were to move it down into here, and I filled that in, then I would have one whole. So really, I've got one plus one is two plus one whole because I have two halves. So my answer would be three. So this whole thing, this green area, equals three. So now let's take a look over here. So we're going to take this, we're going to take a little step here, and we're going to take this one and one half, and we're going to make it into a fraction. So we're going to go two times 1, so this 2 times this 1, okay, that equals 2, plus this 1 right here, plus 1 equals 3, and this is all going to be over 2, so I've got 3 halves, okay, because I have this 2 right here, that's my half. So now I have 3 halves, times 2, but we know if we put a, over 1, that still means it's 2. So now I'm just going to take 3 times 2 equals 6, and 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 goes into 6, how many times? It goes 3. So look at that, there's my 3. Same thing as our graphing model. Graphing model seems a little easier, a little easier to visualize. one and one half times three. Our first factor is going to be one and one half. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look at, here's one half, because that's halfway between zero and one. This is one and one half. So now I know it's one and one half, so I'm going to draw a line straight up. There's my one and one half. There's my first factor. My second factor is going to be three. So I'm going to come up here, zero, one, two, three. I'm going to come all the way up to the top, and I'm going to draw a line across. Now, I'm going to look at this area here, and this area, let's make it yellow, is going to be filled up, right? So I can just kind of go along right here, 
There's one. There's another two. There's three. Okay, there's three holes right there. Let me use a different color just to show you. Here's my halves. There's one half. There's another half. And there's another half. All right, so I've got one hole, two holes, three. So one, two, three. And then I've got a half, one half. These two, though, I can move that one right there. And now I've got a hole. That would make this whole picture right here. And then I've got one half left. So I've got one, two, three, four, and one half. So I could stop right there and boom, there's my answer, four and one half. But let's just check this out over here. So if I take one and one half, one and one half, and I multiply two times one, I'm going to make a fraction out of this, two times one. So two times one equals two plus one plus one equals three. And then all this is over two. So I can turn that into whoops into a fraction. Okay, so I have three over two times three right there. Okay, three over one is still three. Three times three is nine. Two times one is two. Two goes into nine. How many times? Four. I can look over here. Cheat. There's my four. Okay, two times four is eight. So I've got one left over to make nine. So I'm going to go one left over out of two. So that one left over out of two is this one right here. So see how that works. So my final answer was four and one half. Two and a half times two. The first factor, we're just going to make two and one half. So we come over here and we go, there's a half, there's one, one and a half, two, two and a half. So here's our two and one half marker. So we're going to draw a line straight up. Okay, then we're going to look at the second factor. I'm going to change colors here. Second factor is two times two. So I'm going to come up to zero, one, two. Draw a line. And now I have the two lines crossing there. And so now I can come in and figure out how many holes do I have here. So not fractions yet, but how many holes. So I can see here's one hole piece right here. You see that? That square there. Here's another one right here. There's two. Here's three. Here's four. And now we have a half. Let's do a little bit different color. Just to show you, here's our half. Here's another half. So now I have one, two, three, four holes. Then I have a half and a half, right? Well, we know that this is split right in half here, so I could take this and put it right in there to make a hole. So really, I have one, two, three, four, five holes all together. So now if I come over here and I look at two and a half, let's turn two and a half into a fraction here, into a complete fraction. So we have two times two, so this two times this two equals four plus one, plus one equals five, and this is all over two, so I have five halves, so I can go five over two, and then I'm going to say times my second factor, which is two, but I'm going to put a one over it, because anything over one is itself, so five times two is ten, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. So this, same as that.
two and a half times three. The first factor we're going to make two and one half. Come over here. We're going to look at there's a half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. So this right here represents two and a half. Draw a line straight up, straight as you can get. And then we're going to draw the second factor. Second factor is three. Come over here. We're going to look zero, one, two, three, all the way up to the top. We're going to draw a line. Then we're going to take our yellow here. And we're going to fill in all the whole parts. So each one of these squares represents a whole. So there is one whole, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six of those holes. Let's change a little bit here. Then we have a half. And I know this is a half because it's halfway in between two and three. There's one half two halves, three halves. So we got an odd number, so that's going to tell us something right away. So here's our one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have a half, and we have a half. I can take this half and make a hole right here. So six, seven, so I know I'm going to have seven, and then I'm going to have one half left over. So seven and a half is what my answer is going to be. So let's come over here and we're going to look at two and a half. Let's turn that into something we can manage. So two and one half. If I do two times two, that's two times two equals four plus one plus one equals five over two. 5 halves times our 3 over 1. 5 times 3 equals 15. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 goes into 15 how many times? We can look over here and cheat. Okay, We know it goes in 7 times, right? 2 times 7. If I did 2 times 7, that's 14. But then I have 1 left over. Okay, so I got one left over out of two. So I got one left over out of two. And that sounds weird when you're doing it like this, but if you look over here, here's my one, okay, my one piece left out of a whole or two pieces. So it's out of two pieces, one. So there's our answer, seven and a half and seven and a half, same thing. And we can put it here if we want to be redundant.